In this chapter, we solve these things called systems, and we solve them in several different ways. And a system of linear equations is simply a set of two or more linear equations. So if you look at this example right here, this is called a system because there's two equations. And a solution to a system of linear equations is the ordered pair that makes each equation true you'll see the solution in the graph because it'll be where the two equations intersect. So let's remember how to graph. First you need the slope and the intercept. So the slope for this one is 2 and the intercept is at 0, 5. The slope for this one is negative 4 and the intercept is negative 1. Now remember, you can also put your, your slopes over 1 to turn them into a fraction. So let's make an xy grid and graph the two lines. So first I'll graph the first equation. I'm going to make a dot at 0, 5. And I can't go up 2, 1 to the right, so I'll go down 2, 1 to the left. And that creates the same line, and the more points I have, the more accurate my line is. And write the equation on it, y equals 2x plus 5. Now we graph the other one. Put a dot at negative 1. And the slope is down 4, right 1, and now we'll go up 4, left 1. y equals negative 4x minus 1. And you see right here is where they intersect, and that's the solution, meaning that's the, what value makes both equations true. So the ordered pair is negative 1, 3. And that's the official solution to this equation, meaning that x is negative 1 for both equations, and 3 is y for both equations, and then you get a true statement out of both equations. Let's try writing one, and um, they've given us a little guide, so pause the video, read the um, example, and then I'll help you write the equations. I've underlined the important things in this story, and they've given us the setup for the two equations. So let's look at this first one. The number of extra points plus the number of field goals equals the total number of kicks. Well, we don't know the number of extra points, and we don't know the number of field goals, so we're just going to leave that as x plus y. But we do know the total number of kicks. That was 8, because he made a total of eight in a game. How many points were an extra point? One. So the second equation is going to say 1x plus the points per field goal, which is 3, times y. And that equals the total number of points, which in this case is 12. So now we just have to get them both in slope-intercept form, and then we can graph them. So if you want to pause the video and get them in slope-intercept form on your own, you can. This equation turns to y equals negative x plus 8 when I rewrite it. And this equation turns to y equals negative 1 third x plus 4. So now I'll get my grid ready and graph them and see where they intersect. Now since x stands for the number of extra points and y stands for the number of field goals, I can't have any negative values, so I'm just going to be in the first quadrant. So let's make a big L for quadrant 1. And I would love for you to be using a straight edge or a ruler. Since I'm on the computer screen, it's very difficult for me. So I'm going to have to freehand it. But since you're on paper, you should not be freehanding these. I'll graph the first one by putting a dot at 8. And the slope is negative 1. So I'll go down 1, 1 to the right. And I'll do that a few times.
and I'm just going to stop because it doesn't continue. Let's write x plus y equals 8 on the line and go to graph the next one. I'll put a dot at 4 and go down one 3 to the right and connect those x plus 3y equals 12 and you can see right here this is where they're intersecting which means that that is the solution to the equations you just have to figure out what it stands for remember x stood for the number of extra points and Y stood for the number of field goals. So based on this graph, I figured out that the person made six extra points and two field goals. So let's just write that as our answer. Six extra points. and two field goals. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.